Hello, I'm Dr. Ali Cannon, and today I'm going to give you an update on the latest coronavirus guidelines and advice. The R number is really how much the virus can easily be transmitted around. So if we didn't have any measures in place, how many people would get infected from one person? So we think with coronavirus, if we were doing nothing at all, then that would be about two or three. So if you have coronavirus, you can give it to two or three people, which is a little bit more than flu, but is a lot less than something like measles. And it's calculated using mathematical modeling, simply working out the number of people that have been infected over time. For coronavirus, we do know that some people are considered high risk. Certainly, as you get older, the risk of getting coronavirus does go up. So anybody older than 65, 70 would be considered at higher risk than the general population. We've also seen that certain ethnic groups are at higher risk of getting severe coronavirus, particularly black and Asian minority groups of people. Having a background health condition such as asthma, diabetes or heart disease also makes certain people at higher risk of contracting severe coronavirus. When we talk about the incubation period of an infection, what we mean is how long it will take you to get ill if you've picked up that infection from somebody else. With coronavirus specifically, the incubation period is around seven to 10 days, but it can be as long as 14 days. So if you have picked up coronavirus from somebody else, it can take up to two weeks for the infection to appear. Once you've had coronavirus, experts still don't know if you will be immune from picking up the infection again. Early data does suggest that once you've had it, you can't pick it up, certainly for the first few months, but we just don't know yet what that means in the long term and whether or not people will have lifelong immunity to the virus. From what we've seen so far, there seems to be a huge range in how long people are ill with coronavirus. Some people have no symptoms at all. Some people will have a cough and a fever and a viral type infection for maybe a week or two weeks. Other people become seriously ill and have been hospitalized, although this is far less common. Some people now are noticing that even having had coronavirus and recovered, they are still feeling some symptoms like fatigue and even shortness of breath. There is a huge range of different symptoms and we all appear to be affected differently. At this stage, we just don't know why some people become more ill than others with coronavirus. In some cases, it is clear that it's to do with background health problems or possibly age or those type of factors. But it's also become apparent that some people just become more severely ill and we really don't know why. The important thing to remember though is for the majority of all of us, actually coronavirus will be a mild infection and you can stay at home and not require hospital treatment. COVID-19 or coronavirus is actually one of a number of coronaviruses they are viruses that humans have had for a long time actually and cause such things like the common cold. What we don't know yet is whether or not having one of the other more normal coronaviruses will actually protect us or give us any immunity against COVID-19. Here's a question I'm being asked a lot. Can you have an antibody test to see if you've had coronavirus? And the answer is yes, that is available currently privately. Antibody testing tells us whether or not you have had an infection in the past. What it doesn't tell us is whether or not you will then have immunity to coronavirus going forward. So we can't say if having antibodies means you won't be able to catch coronavirus again. This is an interesting question about blood type and coronavirus. 
As far as we know, blood type really has very little effect on our health. Blood type does not affect your risk of catching coronavirus or then going on to get severe illness if you do catch coronavirus. This is something we're talking about more and more, the long-term effects of coronavirus on the body. For most people, having the virus will be a mild infection, leaving no long-lasting effects. But we are certainly seeing some people who are feeling symptoms long after the infection should have gone. These might range from long-term fatigue, long-term breathlessness or lung problems, and even people who notice their sense of smell and sense of taste is not coming back. At this stage, we're just not sure for how long those effects are lasting. Thank you for listening today. It has been a worrying time for all of us, but now that we're all going out again, we can all stay safe by following the advice and the guidelines.